as you'd expect from a period of such intense pressure, with thousands of military personnel being trained on the island ahead of being immediately drafted into the services, there was bound to be accidents. And one of the most dangerous areas was that of pilot training for bombers and fighters. In those days, there was only very primitive radar, certainly no GPS or satellite navigation. And if you were out at sea on a training flight and the mist came in, then it was a very serious matter. And getting back safely was by no means certain. These graves date from the 1940s, and it's here you can see such names as Galakowski, Krotz, Flett and Meekin, mostly young men in their 20s. This is the tragic side of Manx aviation, and it's fitting that these men are buried here, so close to Jerby Airfield, where they came to do their training for war service. As an important training station for the RAF during the war, Jerby saw a continuous stream of young men passing through its bombing and gunnery schools and its air observers school. These gravestones are a reminder that the training that took place at these wartime airfields was dangerous and fraught with hazards. Unpredictable weather, the nearby hills, mid-air collisions and engine failures all contributed towards a heavy toll of accidents and fatalities. In fact, over the last century, there were more than 260 air crashes on and around the island, resulting in more than 288 deaths. Most of these took place during the war, and although many of the aircraft ditched in the sea, the majority crashed on land, and the island's hills are still littered with the remains of the aircraft. It was the great central ridge of hills that caused the most problem during the war. They were often covered in low cloud, which had a habit of coming down quickly and disorienting pilots. And the area around Snaefell and North Perul was particularly treacherous. Without doubt, the worst air crash during the war, in fact, the worst in the island's history, happened here on the slopes of North Perul on the morning of the 23rd of April, 1945. Members of the ground crew from the Army Air Force Station at Ridgewell in Essex were going for a week's leave. They were flying to Northern Ireland, and just before 10.30, the aircraft came in over the Manx coast, flying at about 500 feet, and went into the mist on Barul. Witnesses said that a few seconds later, there was an explosion and a huge fireball. 31 young lives were lost. Although the crash happened nearly 70 years ago, there are still parts of the aircraft lying on the hillside, a sad reminder of the lives lost in the island's worst air crash.